सरल जापानी जापानीज लर्निंग मेड इजी है फ्रेंड्स आवे यू वेलकम टू सरल जापानी यूट्यूब चैनल सो फ्रेंड्स द वेट इज फाइनली ओवर दोज हु हैड अप्लाइड फॉर नेक्स्ट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी सिक्स स्कॉलरशिप्स बोथ अंडर ग्रेजुएट एंड रिसर्च एप्लीकेंट्स सो इट्स फाइनली द वीक ऑफ द फर्स्ट वीक ऑफ जून एंड ड्यूरिंग दिस वीक द रिजल्ट ऑफ योर प्रिलिमिनरी एप्लीकेशन विल बी डिक्लेयर्ड एंड मोस्ट ऑफ यू विल बी सिलेक्टेड फॉर द रिटर्न टेस्ट एंड इंटरव्यूज एंड देन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ दिस टेस्ट द फर्स्ट स्क्रीन लिस्ट विल बी रिलीज सो फ्रेंड्स देयर हैज बीन सम काइंड ऑफ कन्फ्यूजन अबाउट द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ द रिटर्न टेस्ट दैट विल बी कंडक्टेड बाई द एम्बेसी इन द नेक्स्ट फेज ऑफ दिस एप्लीकेशन प्रोसेस द कन्फ्यूजन इज अबाउट द टाइप ए एंड टाइप बी कैटेगरीज ऑफ सब्जेक्ट दैट इज इंग्लिश ए वर्सेज इंग्लिश बी जैपनीज ए वर्सेज जैपनीज बी एंड मैथमेटिक्स ए वर्सेज मैथमेटिक्स बी द कन्फ्यूजन इज दैट हु नीड्स टू टेक हुई सब्जेक्ट एंड ऑल्सो वट इज द बेसिक डिफरेंस बिटवीन द ए एंड बी क्वेश्चन पेपर्स इज ए इजियर देन बी और इज द कॉन्टेंट टोटली डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द अदर सो लेट्स गो ओवर ऑल दिस इन दिस वीडियो सो दैट यू हैव ए क्लियर आइडिया अबाउट वट टू एक्सपेक्ट इन द रिटर्न टेस्ट सो रिटर्न टेस्ट नोटिफिकेशन इफ योर एप्लीकेशन इज शॉर्ट लिस्टेड इन द एप्लीकेशन स्क्रीनिंग प्रोसेस द नेक्स्ट स्टेप विल बी द रिटर्न टेस्ट एज आई जस्ट मैंशन यू विल बी नोटिफाइड ड्यूरिंग द फर्स्ट वीक ऑफ जून अबाउट योर selection through email the same email id that you had provided in the application and in the same email you will also be notified about the subjects for which you need to appear in the written tests at the embassy so that means you will be very clearly informed about the subjects that you need to write in the written tests that means whether it is english a or japanese b or mathematics b or whatever subjects you must appear for the written tests it will be clearly communicated to you so there will not be any confusion but for now let's see what information we have so first let's start with the english tests so according to the application guidelines that next has released for this year's written test it is mentioned that the social sciences and humanities a category will take english a and social sciences and B, humanities b category will also take english a whereas natural sciences a and b will take english b so this is what is given in the application guideline but friends this seems to be incorrect to me because from the information that i have received from the previous students and also from the internet sources and especially from the sample question papers that is past years question papers provided by the uh next board or the or in the website of jaso it is mentioned that social sciences and humanities a will take english a social sciences and humanities b will take english b and natural sciences a and b both will take the same english test which is a unified english test so we have the question paper of the previous years for the natural sciences where it is only english is mentioned there is no a or b so that again validates this point that something is not correct in the application guidelines now what are these three categories of english a b and c let us try to understand what to expect in which one so english a this is applicable for social sciences and humanities a and the subjects or the disciplines inside this category include law politics pedagogy sociology literature history and japanese language so the focus of english a test will be on basic english grammar vocabulary and reading comprehension and the difficulty level will be moderate now english b english b is applicable for social sciences and humanities b fields for example economics 
business administration and so on. Here the content will be mainly based on intermediate English grammar, vocabulary and reading comprehension. That means the grammar will be little more difficult than that in English A. So the difficulty level is higher in English B than in than that in English A. Now this is for the social sciences and humanities A and B categories. For applicants to natural sciences A and B fields, there is no distinction between English A and English B. You will simply take the standard English test for natural sciences applicants. And the question papers that you have on the website belong to this category. So you know what to expect. So it's a standard grammar, vocabulary and reading comprehension. There is no classification between A and B. So if you have studied in English medium, then the English test is pretty simple and easy. And whether it is A, B or unified English, it doesn't matter because it at school level, there was no differentiation, right? So every student has studied the same English. So how does it matter whether you have to appear for English A or B or unified English? It doesn't matter at all. So just go ahead and give the test. So this is about English. Next is the Japanese tests. So according to the next application guidelines, Social Sciences and Humanities A and Social Sciences and Humanities B will take Japanese A test while Natural Sciences A and Natural Sciences B will take Japanese B test. So this is again not correct. So I'm not sure how they have provided this information, but from the information that we have and the information that I have researched on the net and also from few former applicants of MEXT scholarship, there is no specific categorization of A or B. So there are indeed Japanese A and Japanese B, but it depends on the applicant. It depends on the application. It depends on the information that the applicant has provided in his or her application that the next board will decide which Japanese test you will be applying for. So social sciences and humanities A, social sciences and humanities B, Natural Sciences A, Natural Sciences B. All the four categories will have both Japanese A and Japanese B and it will not depend on these four categories but it will depend on the individual applicant which Japanese test he will take based on his current Japanese proficiency level information that he has provided in his or her application. So Japanese A is intended for applicants with basic or no Japanese knowledge. Difficulty level is easy. Content, it focuses on beginner level grammar, vocabulary and reading. That means the JLPT N5 and N4 level will be mainly assessed in Japanese A. In Japanese B, applicants with advanced Japanese knowledge and the difficulty level is harder. Content includes advanced grammar, reading comprehension and kanji. So N3 and N2 level. Now, what will be the uh, criteria for choosing A or B? So the applicant doesn't usually choose which test to take. The embassy or the university assigns the appropriate test based on the application and Japanese proficiency of the applicant. That means whatever information about your Japanese proficiency you have provided in your application, based on that you will be offered the test. So most likely, since most of you have mentioned that you do not have Japanese proficiency, so you will be most likely offered Japanese A test. So just hope that they offer you Japanese A, which will be pretty easy. So if you have some knowledge of Japanese language, you should be able to answer several questions. Some applicants may receive both A and B sections to complete, particularly if they claim intermediate knowledge. So this is another thing. So they may ask you to appear in both the Japanese tests. So it, it depends and it varies from applicant to applicant. Now, how to prepare yourself for that? So you still have one month because the written test will be towards the end of June. So you can visit the playlist Japanese lessons for beginners on the same YouTube channel and 
you can start watching the videos starting from lesson one if you have zero Japanese knowledge. In that way, by the end of this month, you will have at least some knowledge about Japanese language. And even if you cannot answer anything in the written test, at least during the interview, you will feel little more confident that you at least know something and you have an idea so that if they ask you about Japanese, at least you can tell them that you have already started learning Japanese and you have learned so, 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 uh, such and such things so far. So please consider watching videos from the playlist Japanese lessons from beginners on this YouTube channel. So this is about the Japanese test. So that means if we go back to this slide, so it can be any test offered to you A or B or even both depending on what information you have provided in your application. So this is unlike English in which it was English A for humanities A, English B for humanities B and unified English for natural sciences A and B. This, is in, this was English. Now this is Japanese and the third category is mathematics. So mathematics in the application guidelines, you can see that social sciences and humanities A and social sciences and humanities B, both of them have been offered mathematics A, whereas natural sciences A and natural sciences B both have been offered mathematics B. So this is in fact correct. There is no uh, mistake in that. So this is okay. So this is what it is. So now, how is Mathematics A different from Mathematics B? Mathematics A is intended for applicants in social sciences and humanities, literature, history, sociology, Japanese language, then uh, the economics, business administration, everything. And the content focuses on basic arithmetic, algebra, geometry, and statistics. The difficulty level is moderate. Mathematics B is mainly for the natural sciences and engineering fields. For example, physics, engineering, agriculture, medicine, and so on. And naturally, it will be tougher than the Mathematics A paper because the science students and engineering students, they need more mathematics. So the content will focus on advanced calculus, linear algebra, and differential equations. That means Differential calculus and integral calculus will be mainly tested and the difficulty level will be high. Applicants are assigned to either Mathematics A or Mathematics B based on their chosen field of study. For instance, those applying for programs in social sciences and humanities will take Mathematics A, while those applying for natural sciences and engineering will take Mathematics B. The embassy or university typically determines the appropriate test based on the applicant's field of study and academic background. So Mathematics test is pretty clear that if you are applying for natural sciences, you will get Mathematics B and if you are applying for social sciences, you will get Mathematics A. So in this way, English, Japanese, Mathematics A and B will be decided for each applicant by the embassy and you will be notified in the email that you will receive from them as part of your selection for the written test. In that email, these subjects will be mentioned very, very clearly which subjects you need to appear for the written exam. So friends, this is all that I wanted to inform you in this video and uh, don't worry about the mathematics, physics, chemistry, biology tests. So if you are clear in your fundamentals, if in your higher secondary you have studied the concepts clearly without memorizing and uh, uh, you have good grasp on the concepts because all the questions will be highly conceptual questions. You have to apply the concepts and the questions are not difficult. As we had discussed in one of the earlier videos about the written tests, the concepts, you have to apply them in the questions and the solutions are very less, very, very, I mean, the, the, the solutions to those problems are not lengthy they are very very short solutions so the questions are pretty simple it may be confusing it may be tricky but not difficult so i wish all of you good luck with the written tests and thanks for watching this video 
I shall soon be back with the next video of this series. Till then, good luck and goodbye for now.